Hi everybody, this is Jim Davis here with DVS Direct and today we're going to talk about uh, using the Spark totally wireless and I've had a couple calls about this. People are saying, well we got a wireless uh, antenna on this thing but we still have to tether it to a power supply or something. Can we go completely wireless? Well, the answer is yes. Uh, you just have to go out on the internet and find a few things to kind of make it work and make it convenient. So, what we came up with is this. You can kind of see it's a, basically it's just a camera rig. And we found a rechargeable 12 volt battery here. And that powers the spark up here. And of course the battery on the camera will power the battery. So, what's nice about this is you can, you know, with, with, within reason, because we have found, you may notice this as I'm moving around it, it's not quite the same as a like a dedicated wireless uh, system, although maybe with a different access point would work better. But I have noticed that sometimes when I like move a certain way or you know a certain angle, the antennas to the access point, you will drop out for a second. You might hear the audio dropping out as as we're doing this. But uh, let me go ahead and switch over to it. So this is the output of the the, the actual NDI uh, Spark. And you see I can now walk around with this on my, my shoulder and I'll, I'll go ahead and do a quick tour of the shop here. So here's one of my old uh, old big old cameras that we used to use. And so this is the main shop area and you can see we have big old lighting grid up there. Um, this is the access point we're using. You can kind of see it up here on the wall. A ubiquity access point and uh, let me go back here real quick and you might hear some fan noise because we have a fan running back here it'll sound like static but it's really not so this is back in our this is our wood shop area where we actually build road cases and whatnot for the TriCasters and, and some of the other equipment that we work with so you can kind of see we have uh, there's one in progress right now I believe that one is for a, uh, either a small panel for the TC1 or a 460 control surface that they're currently working on right now. <clears throat> so, um, and then over here is my little working area where I do a lot of my service work and whatnot, do soldering and things like that. So, but uh, and there's a TriCaster Mini sitting there just for grins. So, but as you can see, I can move around my shop with the uh, Spark wireless connection with a fair amount of re reliability. Like I said, once in a blue moon, you may hear the audio drop out or the picture may stop for a second. That may have something to do with the access point I'm using, and I'm going to try some different ones and see if I get better results. But uh, So... That's uh, that's kind of what we came up with. Haven't really had any problems with uh, haven't really had any problems with the uh, with the spark when the camera's static. Like if I move it, once it establishes a connection, everything seems to be fine. But moving it around, I, I, I'm assuming that it's just the angle of the antennas to the access point that might be creating a little bit of an issue. So uh, I'm not quite ready yet to depend on this as a wireless camera rig but it was just kind of interesting to, to do it uh, otherwise I'd probably go with something like the Cosmo that we showed earlier um, but that's uh, just something we put together I thought I'd do a quick video on it and if you have any questions uh, just give me a call or email us at uh, DVS Direct and uh, hope to see you soon or hear from you talk to you later